Hey, Summit community members. I'm Amanda, streaming to you live again from downtown um, Lander, Wyoming. I hope this finds you well, wherever in the world you may be. Today, I wanted to share with you three tips that I have uh, when hiking through rattlesnake country, which definitely applies to Wyoming. Um, so I thought this was quite applicable. Tip number one, uh, in advance of uh, just going out hiking, you really want to, uh, especially in an area that you might know that there could be rattlesnakes, you want to check in with um, the locals as far as like, current conditions and um, use online resources to determine the pre prevalence of rattlesnakes in the area through which you plan on hiking. So you can prepare accordingly. So if you know that there's going to be kind of a high rattlesnake presence area on a certain trail um, that maybe locals that have been hiking there in the past few days know about. You might want to choose to avoid that uh, avoid that trail overall, especially if you're hiking with kids or um, pets. Um, in addition, in a rattlesnake uh, prevalent area, uh, you can take precautions by starting with sticking to the more popular cleared sections of trails. So more open areas in which you can kind of see ahead of you pretty far. So definitely avoid traipsing through any kind of thick brush or under undergrowth. Um, if you know that an area is had um, a lot of rattlesnake activity as of late. Um, tip number two, uh, definitely dress accordingly. So, um, Despite the temperature outside, long loose pants and high top boots are going to come highly recommended and also be your best prevention in the event that you unfortunately do make contact with um, an aggressive rattlesnake. Uh, so this also applies to your pets. If you're hiking with a, a dog, you want to ensure that you keep them close by you on a leash at all times and um, if possible, kind of, you know, leave them behind if you know that they're maybe prone to going after uh, moving wildlife such as my dog definitely is. Um, and finally, in the event of an unfortunate encounter with a rattlesnake, um, the best thing to do is to freeze immediately so as not to alarm them. Kind of evaluate the distance uh, between you and, you know, if they're not... Um, they could be making a lot of noise. They may not at that point. Either way, you want to slowly move away from them and give them as much space as possible so that you don't uh, make them feel threatened and possibly uh, create uh, their willingness to attack, possibly bite you. So that would be my best suggestion. Uh, quickly to recap, three tips for hiking through rattlesnake country. First and foremost, um, check ahead of time. Check the trails or the area that you're heading to. Talk with the locals. Uh, you can go to your nearby gear shop or forest ranger station to kind of figure out if rattlesnakes have been prevalent in a certain area and avoid those trails that have had heavy rattlesnake activity. Um, and in a rattlesnake prevalent area, despite the trail, um, stick to the more popular traffic trails with very clear kind of open feels to them if possible. So you can see as far ahead of you as possible and avoid traipsing through any brush or undergrowth that you may encounter along the way. Um, also plan on dressing accordingly. So typically long loose pants and high tops boots work really well. Um, if you're hiking with a dog, be sure to keep them close by on a leash at all times to prevent an encounter uh, with your dog and a rattlesnake. Um, and finally, in the event in the event that you do encounter a rattlesnake on the trail, uh, freeze immediately so as not to further alarm them and slowly start making your way backwards, sideways, however you need to go, even if it's off the trail, um, to give them their space and allow them to uh, become less threatened so they're not as prone to... Um, attacking you. So those are my top three tips for hiking through rattlesnake country. I hope you found those useful and get out hiking safely if you are in an area uh, prone to rattlesnake activity. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time. 
Hey guys, it's Amanda. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to hiking and backpacking, I just wanted to recommend that you check out our Adventure Academy Summit, where you'll find everything you need to know to learn how to become a safe and confident hiker. In Summit, we have tons of video courses, eBooks, and downloadable cheat sheets. We also do weekly live webinars where you can get any questions that you might have on a variety of subjects answered in real time. Summit also comes with a really convenient mobile app which includes sort of a mini Facebook for all of its members uh, built into the platform. So you can connect with other adventure junkies in your area um, at your convenience. It's really cool. Um, if you want to give it a chance, um, check it out and go to the adventurejunkies.com forward slash academy or click the link in the description below. I look forward to seeing you in Summit.